Yeah, what's up, guy? How are you? You got a track phone? Uh uh, sci phone. Sci phone. Okay. So we can just brainstorm, bro. We're gonna brainstorm on this podcast and it's super lit. Get your character. You already know it's your boy Brando, aka Sylvie, with my brother. Danko James. Danko Jizames, formerly known as Curtis, Curtis Williams. Williams. <laughs> Nigga. Like, yeah. I gotta figure out who to spend a band of 1500 a month. I want that third office, boy. And I've made a lot of money off this music too. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't really, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really capitalize off my first working deal the way I should have. Like, I could have. Like, but I'm just saying, like, a lot, but I'm saying, like, me, I had a great deal, you know? I'm not fucked. I had $1.5 million deal, 250 k events in my thing, and then I had another 200 k because I had all the homies. Like, I don't owe them no money. This is a one album deal. I didn't capitalize. I'm saying I didn't capitalize off it. But I look at it now as something that's, that I learned is because now I'm working on this deal where uh, my event check is probably going to be a little a little over 100 k And now I'm already now seeing that, okay, one, it's possible for me to make these six figures of money. Because the reason I blew the first check I got was yeah, because we it. Exactly. So now I see this. And so now I'm already coming into this shit, like thinking, like, like I've, I've already talked to my um, cousin about how I'm trying to open up my own, like, little consignment store, how niggas resell sneakers and shit. Like, I'm one of them dudes. I'm trying to, uh, me and my mom trying to open up a smoke shop. We trying to buy a subway. So now, now I know, okay, if I get this money, let's take it. And that's, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to share that. Yeah. Let's watch a little clip. I posted on my page. I, um, it was a clip of my um, my dude, Black Folks, my, who was my road manager, who was go with my right hand, and yeah. my OG, OG. Shit, black folks. He said y'all wrote something? No, no, he was my role manager and shit. Uh, black folks, he was like, he's like the OG, OG. He was putting it in you all the game. Yeah, but he would listen to that. And that's just the message that this dude said in that shit. Like, yeah, but that, yeah. And and and, and that's what I'm saying. is like, he was one of the people that when I first got my deal, when I say things like that is like, like, I need it to go. I should have listened to that. Yeah, but I'm saying like I needed to go um, fuck up with check and see that, and and that's what I'm saying is like he was one of the people that when I first got my deal when I say things like that is like like I needed to go. Yeah, but I'm saying like I needed to go um, fuck up with check and see that. You know what I'm saying? I need. I'm saying this is why I come back to back. multiple perspectives, bro. Yeah, and people gotta realize like. Just because somebody talking to you and saying something and disagreeing, it doesn't necessarily mean what you're saying is wrong. That just means they disagree, and that's very fine. And if it and if it's and if it's like a toxic disagreement, then, then you they, just that walk person away. doesn't know how to. And then that's that. their problem. Then. That's their. Problem. And that's where that's the balance you don't need. That's the that's balance. A, don't need. That, we're about to get some money. Podcast yeah, like there. straight up, we'll be in that bitch filming whatever, whenever. Well, let me show you some of the pictures from in that bitch. You just have a whole radio, you just have a whole radio station take the thing going on in there. All that shit, bro. Look, so these are the two conference rooms. First one, here's the shit. 